up you guys it's your girl kia cartel here with another video for my aquarius gang i am back in the camera so i'm feeling much better and ready to really get y'all these messages across it's been a lot of shit like heavy on my mind so i just couldn't go to bed of course without giving you guys the messages needed it is the start of a super blue moon so i know it's a lot of raving about it and oh my gosh this that look at how beautiful the moon is um crazy enough you know what I'm saying? This picture popped out and I was like, perfect time for many of you to get, you know, started in your manifesting journey. I feel like a lot of you have been really requesting certain things to show up, um, requesting answers to your questions and just really needing some clarity at this time as to what to do next. Your first card was open up. Okay. And considering I have open up and change and new beginnings i feel like you need to open up to the idea of change and new beginnings right if you have to let go of certain people be prepared for better people to step in line right um coming through showing you a good time giving you um infinite opportunity to be yourself right i feel like a lot of you have been closed off and kind of lost yourself within a connection and just even connecting with things outside of relationships right like trying to find yourself be open to change be open to adjusting. Some of you are getting ready to move, new house, just new state, new scenery. Um, and it can be one of those things where it's unfamiliar, so it feels uncomfortable. You don't have the motivation to really get into the habit of certain things at this moment. Um, be open to the idea. Literally, the card says you're being asked to open your heart to another, to let down your walls and trust that they um and trust what you want and what's best for you. So not doubting yourself is major here. I feel like many of you will put certain things in place and then for whatever reason have that subconscious thought of mm, what if it doesn't happen? What if this isn't for me? What if this person doesn't really want me or like me? Or what if this just doesn't work out? I do have third party energy showing up. So I do feel a lot of you feel betrayed. Okay. A lot of you feel like a person could have done better when communicating or just showing up for you in general, right? Like mental stability was something that someone needed here. You needed to know, um, someone needed to know or would like to know that they aren't the only one feeling what it is that they feel like there has to be this mutual feeling between you and someone else now what I will say is y'all know I cannot keep going unless I get more information on where you guys are emotionally okay if you are new to my channel this is my emotional deck Okay, I also meant to say you have to take what resonates and leave what does not for whoever the hell it does belong to. Everything in this message may not resonate with you, but I can assure you for most of you coming in, something here does. So pay attention, cross watchers, place yourself in the story as you see fit, okay? Let's go ahead ahead and tap into what it is that my Aquarius is feeling. Y'all feeling a lot. Okay. Okay, okay. There's some obsession here um, and sacrifice, right? I feel like Many of you feel, of course, let down, betrayed, but a lot of you feel like you're not really getting this message across to someone or someone's really just not picking up on what it is that you're feeling, right? Someone is kind of overlooking um, or pretending as if they don't really give a damn about how you feel. Um, there's a little bit of manipulation here. I do feel like a lot of you feel lied to or were lied to in a situation so there's all of these emotions behind being truly connected with a person but having all of these things that are kind of blocking you guys from pursuing more than what you are i think many of you would like a relationship with somebody and even if it's not a relationship as far as being together you would just like to know that this person is a genuine person um thirst and obsession i think that many of you are definitely in this place of being like very obsessive um, and it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's kind of taking a toll on you because you truly don't really feel this way about people often, right? It's easy or it's been easy for you to let go of um, people in the past, right? Not really holding on to the feelings and emotions behind a connection, being able to really get into your ghosting stage when it comes to people. For whatever reason, it's really, really hard this go around, but I also have free will, some of you are just not ready to be in a relationship. I think many of you released yourself of a toxic, manipul a manipulative um, situation already. Something that was very narcissistic. Someone who was very controlling. You got out of that and it's like, do I really want to be in this state of whatever that was again? 
right? Um, you're a dreamer, okay? And I feel like, Aqua, you know, we can dream a lot. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm an Aquarius as well. And I just feel like we have this ability to be super creative, right? It is just a natural thing to have all of these ideas flowing in our minds and wanting to touch so many things and make so many things happen. You have to slow down, though. You have to be open to change, right? Things are not always going to go your way, but you are the key, okay, to unlocking a lot of these doors in your life that are meant to show you different things. So many of you, if you sat down, and really put together together a different plan and routine, you'd start to see certain things show up for you the way that they need to. Um, right now, like I said, you're in this place of dreaming. I think a lot of you want to experience the next level in life, right? Like you've done all of this, you've done the partying, you've done the whatever it is that you may feel you've done too much of. Now you want to experience more traveling, um, more friend time, right? Being in a relationship and sharing those experiences with somebody all while getting work done on your end personally. Many of you are entrepreneurs for real, for real. Multiple business, if not multiple, at least one. So you're really trying to figure out ways to put into your business and invest in yourself, which is super important. It's also something many of you haven't done um, considering you give so much to other people. It's like, okay, now I'm just focusing in on me and I'm making things happen. Um, things get better. I feel like many of you um, with standing in your ground, standing your ground coming out, I do have Leo showing up. So many of you could be dealing with the Leo. Um, right, you want consistency. Okay, we need consistency taking place in our lives here. Whether that's with someone or by ourselves, we need things to be consistent. We need to start really putting in the effort to make things happen and be rewarded with certain things, okay? Um, this sacrifice is really, oof, and then self-discipline. Let's talk about it. Sacrifice and self-discipline. Someone has been stressing way too hard over a situation and not focusing on themselves enough. OK, I feel like many of you are constantly sacrificing, um, sacrificing certain things in your life for other people when you really don't have to. It's just you being a humanitarian, you being a lover, you being a hopeless romantic. It makes you feel good to see other people happy. Right. It makes you happy to see other people happy. But unfortunately, in this moment, many of you have expanded yourself way too far for people. OK, been lied to. And it's a little disappointing, not a little, it's actually very disappointing to know that the, that um, specific people or a specific person can actually do you the way that they've done you. Um, so a lot of you are in this place of redirecting how you um, just want to interact with people. It feels very, very strange as far as the energy that's been around you. I do feel like other people are going through really weird pulls in their life so certain things that you have going on and what you want to do is just not aligning with what they have going on and what they want to do really like two magnets that just won't fit at this time timing again is everything so what's that song uh maybe right person wrong timing like yes okay you could be dealing with the right person um but it's just not their time to go through the process you're going through. I do see a lot of you maturing in the sense of not really um, saying too much. Okay, typically you are last word. I'm saying what I have to say. It is what it is. You're going to hear me. But many of you are walking away or walking through situations with giving um, very little, right? Conversation seems very minimal. So to me, that's a mature thing for you to do considering you are always... Someone here is always looking to be sure that they are heard having the last word. Let's go ahead. Thank you. We have Gemini energy coming in. So many of you could be dealing with the Gemini as well. Okay. I also have Capricorn and Scorpio energy coming through now. Libra shows up here. Um, I feel like many of you could be dealing with the person who felt trapped in relationships. Or when they think of relationships, they think of chaos because of their past experiences so when it comes to you i do feel like this person is trying to avoid something um based off of their past experiences now for you this is a little frustrating considering um when you guys are together the energy feels amazing to me but 
you can also feel that person pulling back slowly but surely in certain situations. When you're together, the time is good for maybe a few hours, couple days, and then this person goes missing um, and communication is just lost because they're so caught up in thinking about the worst instead of what could be better. Um, it feels very like traumatizing okay i do feel like there's a i have aries energy coming through a lot of you could be dealing with an aries or have aries in your chart it just feels like a person is not ready to fully commit due to the fact that they are scared um now there is the energy of a person okay that you could be dealing with or someone who is new coming in who is looking to experience things with you as well this is a person who is kind of pushing the door down and recognizing that um, there is some availability to have a different type of connection with you. I do get the sense that this person was a player or typically could be seen as a player, right? Having multiple people in their aura. But when it comes to you, this person just wants you. Um, so they are going through the karmic cycle of having to um, pretty much like get rid of past energy, past people, past connections, and things of that nature. You do have the will of fortune showing up. Maybe, okay, has been a thought. Maybe this could be a thing. Maybe this shouldn't be a thing. Going back and forth with yourself. But one thing that is for certain is the destiny, the destiny that is set for you. A lot of you, um, are in contact with your karmic uh, soulmates, um, which means that you've met your, your your soulmate as far as being able to succeed in certain aspects of like what you guys um, have in common. But for whatever reason, we are missing that communication part in the personal aspect of a relationship. Um, either way, okay, I do have the chariot showing up. Many of you have had people in your life who have just been blocking you from your blessings. And I think many of you know these people off the rip right whoever comes to mind is a person who's like yeah that person has been a little weird maybe they've been blocking shit for me um i do get the idea that there has been someone who has been looking to block you from succeeding or accomplishing certain goals or um you know pursuing certain relationships with people so i will say be careful who you decide to share um a lot of your ideas with be careful who you're just talking to right be careful who you shake hands with um not everybody is supposed to know what's going on up in here so um it's just a lot of weird energy surfacing con considering people are going through their own weird little situation i have aries coming out so many times as well as capricorn here there was somebody oh and then we have decision making so a lot of you are definitely in a place where you have to make a decision or you feel pressured to make a decision here um uh, whether or not you want to continue a relationship or connection with certain people or a specific someone i do feel like someone is tugging on your heartstring um but you also for someone here someone feels like a person is playing with them while dealing with someone else there is a lot of confused energy in this connection but i do feel a major spark as well so this is why it's confusing it's like i hate that i love you right now type of energy um many of you have met a person though who is showing you lots of compassion lots of love and it almost feels like this is a dream right i feel like many of you are in this state of how long will this last so that's where you're stuck in this place of decision making like do i pull back from this or do i hold this moment until this person shows me otherwise i will say you guys need to let people show you who they are before you make drastic decisions aqua we can be very impulsive we're a very fixed sign so when things don't feel right we are looking to fix this immediately um which can often put us in positions where we miss out on opportunities or seeing the bigger picture because we pulled back too fast. Let things play out the way that they're supposed to play out and don't force anything to be something that it shouldn't. You'll know, right? I think we all have this very intellectual ability to feel when things are good and when things are not and when things are just okay to be. Um, it does feel like a lot of you are just very combative with self and constantly thinking about whether or not a person is doing you right or doing you wrong. Um, we do have compassion showing up again. So I want to say many of you need to just focus on being in love or loving. 
I think the idea of love is not just in regard to another person coming in and you sharing that with a person, but I do think a lot of you need to hold compassion for yourself. Okay, this is the time I'm telling you right now, if you guys take anything from this video, this is the time for you to start requesting what it is that you desire. Okay, many of you have really big dreams. Many of you want things to really flourish and want more money, want a new house, want a new car. All of these things are very capable if you stay focused on that, right? Um, not allowing anything to veer you off track because there are lots of distractions taking place. I do have Taurus energy coming up, so a lot of you could have a connection with a Taurus, but I do feel like if you are dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus got money, okay? And I think you getting into a place where you release a lot of that negative energy, you start to pick up on these different habits with um, a new connection, okay? It doesn't have to be a Taurus, could be any other sign, but either way, you're releasing old energy and you're being open, as we stated in the first card, to new energy, compassion, and change, okay? What is this? What flipped out? What flipped out? Create. Thank you. I honestly feel like you guys just need to really, again, focus on your creative space. This is just clarity that whatever it is that you are wanting to do in life, whatever it is that you feel is your purpose is something that, again, you need to hold your focus to um, and listen. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. Super important things here. Is there anything else that we need to pay? Ooh, reassurance. Ring reassuring yourself is definitely important here. Is there anything else that we need to know in regards to what it is that my Aquarius needs to look out for? Can we go ahead and clarify what it is that my Aquarius needs to look out for coming soon? What is it that my Aquarius needs to look out for coming soon? What is it that my Aquarius needs to look out for? Ooh, everything. Jump in. Okay. Jump into something that you feel really takes on um or really gravitates happiness um honestly taking a step back isn't going to hurt anything either right sometimes you got to take a step back to really see everything from a panoramic view i feel like so so many of you are like super honed in and focused on on just this one thing or this specific thing and you're not able to see what's going on around you there are certain things that you've been asking for that are actually working to the side of you right behind you you have to be able to have this 360 view of what's going on in the world um but many of you have been shielded um just based off of the people you've been around and the people that you've allowed to come in and out of your life right it has been again a major distraction so we want to jump more into what it is you guys have as far as zodiac connect right your houses i want to know what it is that we need to focus on as far as your houses let's see so right now we're in mars <laughs> okay as you know or if you don't we are in retrograde so driving power is really what is um here as far as a motivating piece to what you need to focus on right what really drives you again what makes you happy what makes you want to get up every day what are you really passionate about when you focus on that and when you can come to terms with that is and you put all of the effort that you really want into what it is um you will find that you hold this power to actually become a better version of yourself through just that creating okay we have trying support and inspiration Many of you would definitely like the support from friends and family, but sometimes the support is self. Okay, I think, you know, if you come across people that inspire you, hold on to them. Um, there are going to be some people in your life that come in or who are already available to you that will want to extend their hand and help. Okay, some of you may need help moving or, um, you know, starting this business or just getting um, a car or something. It's going to be something that someone wants to help you with. Um Many of you are going to take this as a, oh, no, I don't want any favors. But sometimes a helping hand isn't bad. Um, I know that many of you are going to be in this place where you're like, I don't want to have to owe anybody back. But sometimes it's not about that. There are people who really just want to see you succeed. And it's not about what they get in return. It's about the fact that they can tell you are always extending your hand. So it would probably be nice for someone to do um the same for you right in return so many of you are going to encounter people who really just want to see you win now not everybody wants to see you win but for the most part you do have someone with the ability to 
offer certain things because they're not missing out on much and it actually makes them happy to see you happy okay as far as what it is that we need to focus on okay what is it that we need to focus on when it comes to love that's what i want to know when it comes to love what do we need to focus on imagination and emotional uh, memory so this tells me that many of you have been trying to dive too deep into a situation instead of allowing the moment to really captivate you right some of you don't know how to live in the moment and this is a time again where we step back take on that panoramic view that 360 view um and really like hone in on the fact that you are making memories and you have people that want to share certain things with you the connection that you feel distant from um I don't know how to even put it. The connection that you feel distant from, I do feel like a person is looking to return if they've left or they haven't been in communication with you as much. I feel like maybe this person is going through a phase where they're, they're actually, you know, constantly thinking and imagining the, the memories that you guys have put together or the memories that you both have shared. So someone is definitely looking to swarm back in because you've created this place of obsession for them. You are someone that they just cannot get their mind off of um we do have friendship and loyalty showing it showing up again i do think that this was a card that came back in place this person wants to know that they can always have you in the corner they do see you as a companion okay this is literally the energy of a person who's like you know what i don't really give a fuck what goes on as long as i got aqua in my corner or by my side or in reach i'm going to be okay so it does at times seem selfish because this person may only reach out when they feel it's necessary for them and not really checking in like you would like them to but i do feel a shift in how they conduct themselves now knowing that you can pull back at any moment um this is all about you, you know, elevating. Okay, we have the elephant talking about community and perseverance. Things are not going to get done unless you make it happen. Aqua, being completely 100 with you, we cannot sit and wait on a person to get their shit together in order to make, you know, in order for us to um, be good, period. It's just not going to work like that. So you guys have to really focus on what it is that you need to get done and allow whoever is meant to be in your circle at that time to just swarm in and place themselves as needed okay um a lot of things that you've been requesting may not show up in the order that you've been requesting them but if you stay positive about it i can guarantee a positive outcome when you start to think about negative shit negative shit happens baby manifesting is so real the mind controls everything i try to get people to understand this on a regular basis like the mind can literally control your motivation and energy constantly thinking about something that is draining will put you in a position to where you don't have the energy to do anything energetic um so we do have limits and lessons this is definitely the time to pay attention and learn something there's nothing wrong with slowing down and paying attention we have community showing up twice for you okay i have your 11th house showing up so many of you want to be um or will be available to start coll uh, collaborating and connecting with people in a specific field of business. Um, we talked about being a creator. So getting into your creative space, you find that you are going to start connecting with people who are doing what you're doing or have an interest in the same field. Um, everything starts to make sense. Pieces start to get put together. You're building a team at this time or at least looking to build a team. Okay. Um, why did I say okay like that? That was so awkward. I feel like someone was saying okay to somebody, like reassuring them. Um, anywho, we're going to go ahead. What is it that we should expect as far as what is happening in Aqua's life within the next couple of weeks? What is it that we should expect to appear? Thank you. Old karma. So we can expect people from the past to surface. For a lot of you, this isn't new, right? You always got somebody from the past trying to show up and explain, you know, what they got going on, how they miss you, how they think about you all the time. You're going to have these old karmic situations and people pop back up. That is a part of the test as well as the lessons as well. I'm not saying you can't communicate with people from the past. I'm just saying to be sure that that person um, has earned a spot in your life there have been many people that you have allowed in and out of your life who don't 
necessarily deserve being in your space, which is why you're in such a draining position. You're going back and forth with a person. At some point, you're going to get tired. Um, so I do feel like when people from the past start to surface, you can either keep them in the friend zone or pursue whatever it is that you want. But if you know the history and how repetitive and the cycle that you normally carry, now may be the time for you to adjust how you guys interact with each other and, and set some different boundaries. So that way, whoever is meant to swarm in can have that space and opportunity without the extra weird shit and distractions um, from your past karmic relationship. Okay, what else is it that we need to expect or that we should expect coming in for Aqua? Many of you, when it comes to business, I do see your idea flourishing right now. Many of you are in this place of stagnation. Shit, how do I get this done? Where do I start? Logos, I'm seeing just things as far as business looking to be set in stone. Uh, we do have career and, su and success. Can I talk today? Show up in your 10th house. So we had your 11th house showing up and then we had... We have your 10th house showing up. Career and success is something that weighs heavy on somebody's mind. You want to be successful and you will be. Um, and then I have joy and play with your fifth house showing up as well. So confirmation, y'all, like this is the time. Okay, we're we're kind of we're getting to the ending of um summer. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, it's cuddle season. Maybe we don't need to worry about cuddling so much. Maybe we need to worry about um, hibernating into this place of creativity, right? Focusing and taking this season to really plan for the next season, right? Get your thoughts and everything together for the fall and winter and pop out in the spring with some bomb shit, right? Pop out in the spring with a new attitude, with... um you know, new ideas, new business um, ventures and endeavors, like pop out when you feel like you've been able to really sit yourself down and recon reconstruct what it is that you want. Many of you need to focus on planting those seeds and actually having patience to see certain things grow. Um, you're not going to get loyal people along this journey. And to say it like that, I'm saying it because I think many of you expect people to just be like down and with the shit and just completely loyal. And unfortunately, everybody has um, a reason behind the things that they do and say. So you can't expect everybody to come with the same energy as you, but you can control the energy that you allow in your space and the energy that you are looking to release. So we do have... Um, Virgo energy showing up, Scorpio energy, I have Aquarius energy, and then I have you showing up as well as Gemini. So right now, many of you are definitely dealing with Geminis. I don't know, Geminis have been surfacing hella crazy. But with your energy showing up as the star, again, hope, recognition, creativity, inspiration, calm, contentment, renewal, serenity, spirituality, and healing, a lot of you are going to find yourself on the other side of chaos, which is happiness and peace. Um... I know personally, I have been like, I've been stating it damn near every day. My energy has been so damn low and like unavailable. I've been unavailable to myself. I almost feel like I'm just doing shit to be doing shit. Like I'm not enjoying really what is going on. So I had to take a moment to kind of step back. And I know I have these breaks often where it's like, damn girl, where you been at? But mental health is important. And I feel like if I'm not in the right state of thinking, I can't deliver the messages to y'all the way I need to. So I do appreciate the support from you all. Those that have checked on me just off of the whim, like, look, baby, we concerned about what you got going on because we ain't seen you in a few days. To me, that's very uplifting because that's what I do it for. Um, so I just want to go ahead and throw that out there. Like a lot of you have been losing sleep and stressing, but with the hangman coming out in the reverse, the disconnect that you feel right now, I feel like there's something that comes in to fill that void. Um, I know relationships are hard right now and it's really hard to know who's for you and who's going to stick around and who's telling the truth and who's, you know what I'm saying, doing what. And all of these things that we're thinking about on a consistent basis, we tend to lose ourselves. So I do want to throw out the message that someone here is definitely going to find their way back and be able to place things in the categories that you feel are necessary. Do not allow people and the weird shit that they do and the people that they got around them that are weird as hell um, to manipulate what you have going on in your life. Um, 
we don't need to be stressed because we are too blessed all right like for real for real so i do have vision in silence coming through this to me is amazing i love owls owls are like my favorite animals i don't know what it is about them they're super wise let alone they have that ability to turn their heads like all the way around that's that 360 movement that i was talking about earlier like really being able to see everything from your point of view at all times and staying focused, okay? Being um, able to kind of soar over certain things that want to hold you down is very important. So in order to be a complete visionary, I think many of you need to silence yourself and silence the room. I do feel like a lot of you may feel it's lonely right now. Like you don't have anyone to talk to. You don't have you know, anyone to connect with, there's a reason behind it. And I think it's because there's something bigger that you need to be available to pay attention to. So um, with the sun coming out, I do see, yes, all of your dreams and manifestations coming to fruition. Everything is working out. Yes, is the confirmation. You don't have to stress or worry about anything, okay? We do have positivity, freedom, success, optimism, confidence, and self-expression, along with good luck, truth, and happiness coming up as well. Um you guys are honestly in control as to what happens. And I feel like we're going to do this together because I got to get myself back. And if y'all ain't right, then I ain't right. And if I ain't right, then y'all ain't right. And this is like a team effort. We're a family here. So I do want to throw out a couple of things. Again, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up. So that way you can make sure that this video surfaces to other Aquarians as well as other people that just, you know, need to hear the message and resonate. If you are not already following my vlog channel, Sensitive Savage, go check that out because like I said, I'm an aqua too, so I may be able to relate to y'all, but I also have a lot of amazing things going on in my life. Um, and I just took on vlogging because I'm always doing something. So check that out and I will see you guys in my next video. We out.